my Girth Pal, I am Emma Alino and I've been going to Girth Pal since um, I was in seventh grade, so almost a little over five years, but um, God has continuously been faithful and has taught me a lot the last couple years. Any Christ follower knows that um, the Lord works through trials and um, that is something that I learned at an early age. Um, I was diagnosed with a medical disease that um, progresses and gets worse over time. Um, and at the time, I was so sad. And there really was no other way out of it besides the Lord. Um, but through that, He taught me to be grateful for trials because they grow us closer to Him. Like it says in James that um, trials, be thankful and joyful in trials because they produce steadfastness. And um, that is something that I learned and I'm continuing to learn. Um, so those trials prepared me um, for this last year. COVID, all of the craziness that um, 2020 brought to all of us. Um, and specifically as a graduating senior, I had to get my life together as what I was gonna do and what school I was gonna go to and what career I would choose. Um, a lot of pressure and a lot of pride. Um, something that I thought that I could do on my own without the Lord. I learned very quickly that that was not the answer and that I had to trust, um, trust in His plan for me and to um, draw near to Him. The ongoing theme that really has convicted me and the Lord's put on my life for a reason um, was how selfish I am. Um, my parents, I promise, can attest to that without Jesus. Um, but it, with our sinful human nature, it's something that um, I really have struggled with. So in Luke, um, with Luke 9, 23, Jesus talks about um, what followers of him are supposed to do. And they are supposed to deny themselves, take up their crosses, and follow him. He clearly puts it out. And the day I realized that was a day on my knees, hands and knees, literally, and just in tears of how selfish I am and how selfless Jesus was. And he sets that example so perfectly for us. So what the Lord used um, humbling myself daily for, um, and it's a continual process, um, was finally, not figuring out, but um, He revealed to me what um, His plans were for me. Um, um, and so it was a Sunday um, during the day that I was um, just on my knees and just so upset at myself, but um, just being so joyful at the grace that the Lord gives us. He does give us grace every day. His mercies are new every single day. And um, that day, I finally realized God put it on my heart for a reason. And things just started to play out. Um, but I wanted to um, fully commit my life to ministry, um, doing ministry full time. Um, I have a family that wants me to go into medicine. Um, and that's what I initially thought I would do. Um, but it took humbling myself and giving my life to God to use and to glorify Him. Um, it was that day that I decided to um, transfer to Liberty University online um, to pursue um, ministry full time. I guess if there's anything I want you all to take away from this story and apply it to your own life is if you don't understand or you're not, um, you don't know the plan um, that God has for your life, go back and evaluate the purpose. And Jesus lays that out. Um, he says to go and make disciples. Um, he lays it out so simple for a reason. Um, and to be reminded of that, you have to have a humble heart and allow Lord to humble you.
there's anything I've learned, it's humility. Um, true humility that Jesus had. 